Christmas 2019 has come and gone. It seems to be getting faster and faster every year. So I got some things in Christmas that I haven't been able to go diving with, but I want really bad. What are they? Well, here's a hint for number one. Hey everybody, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving, Scuba Diving on a Budget, where I try to help you save money and enjoy the sport of scuba diving at the same time. I want you to be able to go out there to these beautiful dive sites and be able to sit back and enjoy the sunset knowing that you did it the best way you know how, plus the cheapest way you know how. Our sport, you know, is not forgiving when it comes to the wallet. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Now that we've done all the politics, ah, I got one. And now guys, as everybody knows that's been diving with me, I dive with my iPhone. Everybody's like, oh my God, you're taking such a chance. Yes, and I agree with that. But it's, you know, the pictures come out pretty good. But I have wanted this TG5, TG6 is what this one is, ever since I saw it on the Everyday Dad. You don't know who the Everyday Dad is, go to his channel. He'll be able to go through a full review of this without going underwater. Now, what I've noticed is, on and off, pretty simple. I mean, it really is. Everything, when I'm going through all the, all the stuff, it's also very simple controls to use. I'm picturing myself with dive gloves trying to use these, and you can't see there's actually like little indentions to make your, feel, your thumb feel it. Um, I am going to go to backscatter.com to learn how to use this a little bit better, but well, not backscatter.com, but Batscatter on YouTube. They do a whole scenario of this and they show me, they show how to take pictures underwater. Now I don't know how to do that yet. Um, as you see, the screen is very, very readable. Um, going through all the settings, different systems. It looks like it's very easy to use, very user friendly. I don't know why I would need that. Uh, but I mean, I, I really like, really like go this, ah, let's see that. Can it focus? Oh yeah, that may be because I got something on it, so. Let's say that's your eye, going to me, arm's length. What I like about this camera is, it can pretty much go into a macro setting and stay in focus the whole time. So that's going to be pretty awesome because I, I really want to start trying to do some macro photography. One, it saves your air, but it also, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. When you compare cameras, no, it doesn't have an external sport, a port for microphone. No, it doesn't have a lot of external ports for a lot of things. What it does have, if I do see this right, it does have on this side the ability to plug in the side. So that means that's one more O-ring you gotta double check when you go when you go diving. Now, that is a USB flash and a USB-C drive, I do believe. And then they pop up. Each each one of these latches has a double latch. So each one of these does have a double latch. There's only two access ports here, here. Battery, SD card, USB, and micro, micro USB and USB-C. <laughs> that's, that's the only two access points there are. Um, it does have like a little strap holder, but if you put it in the case, you're not gonna be able to get the strap holder in there. Now, what I do like about this, right now, I can take this to 50 feet. That is, 90% of the diving and Key Largo, right there. Most of the diving is no more than no more than 30 feet. Most of it. There are some deeper spots which I would have to have a case for. So, how much did I spend on this? This camera 
is 450 something. Well, I spent $459, I do believe it was, just on this. Um, the underwater housing for this case, if I looked at B&H photo and backscatter correctly, both of them are like right around $250 to take it down to deeper depths. Guys, my Canon T7i right here, if I put it, it's, it's the very first housing with a regular dome is $1,100. So I have less than $1,100, a dive case and a camera that I can put on the thing. I, and as soon as I get the housing, I'll get it. Well, I'm gonna play with it for a little while. Um, anyway, but I got one, I got one. All right, so that's it, that's all. Yep, all right. It's Olympus TT6. I will know more when I take it in the water. Listen guys, my name is Chris. This is Just Keep Scuba Diving, where I try to save you money on items such as this, and whether or not it's worth it, and, or whether you spend the money or not. So that way you can enjoy your diving, enjoy the sunset, and enjoy your wallet at the same time. It's a crazy concept, I know. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I got more videos coming out. Just keep scuba diving, guys.